so many people here already. Yay. Hello. 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 That's so excited. Okay. I have that up here. Welcome, welcome, everybody. We are here to talk all about what Sarah has all behind her. <laughs> the Viscount who loves all of her lovely Yay. additions. Um, oh, we all have our, except for Teresa's not home, so she doesn't have hers, but it's okay. We'll, we'll be I'm not pulling mine out. <laughs> Do you have the hardback, too, of the original? Me? Sarah. Yeah. I have no hardback first editions. I want them, but I've never okay. seen them in my life, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have one in the second one, so I was wondering if you didn't. Nadia, Nadia, um, on Instagram, she has like every single first edition hardback. That's crazy. Jen, so Jen does too. Yeah, Jen does. Mm -hmm. oh. I started collecting them right before the show, and I had like four, and I was like, I've got plenty of time because I didn't think Bridgerton would be yeah. like as big. <laughs> right. So, and then I was like, well, dang, they're going for like two hundred dollars now. Like that's. I don't think happen. anyone thought it would be like this. It's. Crazy. Crazy. No, like mm -hmm. as a longtime fan, I mean, I've been reading these books since I was in high school. I mean, I'm yeah. 31. I've been reading these books since I was like 14, and I, 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 it's so surreal to me, like that Shonda, like Brian's picked up our one of my favorite romance series. Like, right. how is and 83 million people watch season one? What? Yeah, and people who don't read romance like freaked out over the series. It wasn't just romance readers that were loving it. Mm hmm it like season one blew me away like the response like I knew I was excited yeah. and I know that like we did a bunch of like hype within the romance community because that's mm -hmm. what we do but <laughs> this is like beyond my wildest dreams like people would like come up to me and they'd be like I'd go up to people and they'd be like oh did you watch Bridgerton and I'd be like <laughs> have you read the books or like their books <laughs> I'm like what <laughs> <laughs> Well, all my coworkers borrowed like all of my books to read them. I love Aww. that. One of my students asked for it, and I was like, "I can't give that to you." But <laughs> <laughs> may I direct you to the Columbus Metropolitan Library? Right there, you go. <laughs> yeah, but does anybody like someone? I forget where I was even talking about, but did someone's wife read it and like tell them? about it in Netflix? Like, how did they find? Shonda Rhimes, okay, here's what I heard. I don't know if you guys heard this, but I, I watched some interviews. Shonda Rhimes was at a vacation home and the Duke and I was just one of those books that comes in like Airbnb, like vacation homes. And she didn't have a book to read. So she just picked it up while she was on vacation and fell in love with the series and was like, this could be a show. Oh my God, that wow. is amazing. That's awesome. Okay. Cause this is what I had heard. That's what That's I, I heard it was vacation and it was at the, but like, I know Shonda Rhimes just happened to pick it up. I wow. don't think that she could have picked it up at the airport because it wasn't in print. Like it wasn't at the air. Like That's these true. Books, these like, books were uh, not at the airport at that time. Popular it before. was published in two, 2000, the Duke and I. But like it was republished with the new cover. Yeah. That's true. It's been republished a few times, but I really yeah. don't think it would have, maybe I'm wrong. But I, that's what I heard. I can't remember the exact story. It's something like that, though. Just like, what are the chances that it was? Crazy. And then I'm like, the possibilities now. I know. So, oh so many God. more. So many more. Uh, okay, but we are going to talk about the book and what we're excited to see in the show. I feel like they showed so much in that new trailer. Yeah, they did. Um, but I've also seen some accounts post pictures that were not in the trailer, and I have no idea where... They There's a video from Netflix and it has like, it, it explains like, I guess what happens in season two, but it has like a bunch of kind of like spoilery scenes in it, which is weird that they would post that, but oh. I guess what they're from. When did they post that? Like yesterday or the day before. Oh, okay. Well, because yeah. I saw a photo of Philip a while ago, like a week ago, and he was yeah. nowhere in the trailer, was he? Right. No, I don't think he was in the trailer. Okay. But like but that maybe that I recall. Weird. I love yeah. Sir Philip. I love that book so much. I'm it's so excited. So <laughs> but it's going to be uh, really sad. The Marina storyline. I don't care. <laughs> Fuck her. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's going to be sad. I'm sorry. It is going to be sad. I hope that they end up like happier than like how it ends up in the book. I really hope that yeah. it's happier. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I, I wasn't. Say, I wasn't. 
Oh, go ahead. Uh, oh, I was just, this is oh, about Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. I, I was going to say, I, I didn't like when I heard um, Marina was going to be in like the first season. I was like, uh, no. But then after I watched it, I didn't hate her character. I didn't mind it. I mean, I know what happened. Yeah, I that. didn't mind her either. Yeah. No, for sure. She I made me cry so too. To Eloise, like that's what I want. <laughs> like, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. I think it was. Yeah, it's gonna be really sad. Yeah. Um, it's the same. So it's Philip. What do you mean, the, the actor? Actor. It's the same actor. Yeah. yeah. Okay, something I don't know if they've shown or not, though, which I think, Sarah, you even just posted on Instagram about it. Um, are they going to discuss bees at all in, like, the bee scene? Is that even going to be a thing? Is her fear of thunderstorms going to be a thing? Because those are two things I have not seen well, whatsoever. I did share that picture, and I think that's what that's from, is from that, like, video so? that has spoilers yeah. in it. Okay. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that's what that scene is. And the thunderstorms, I'm not sure, but, I mean, they did show a bit of, thunderstorm like scenes in the trailer though so it could be did, yeah. but in season one the bee was like it was... sprinkled within the story yeah. like especially at the yeah. end there was like the bee flying out the window so i feel like they're going to for sure yeah i don't know I think... okay the bee's been so, prevalent like... since season one though like it's I been yeah. So, yeah but i feel like it's been a symbol but not like a fear of anthony's Right, no, I but think like, they're gonna keep it because it's a huge part of his story and why he doesn't want to like fall in love. That's the only reason the bees even part of the Bridgerton series, at least to me, like yeah. that, it, like it killed their father, like that, like culminated right. the entire Bridgerton line. But it's, I think it'll be in there. Yeah. Okay, everyone thinks it'll be in there. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think it's way too prevalent to the story. If the bee doesn't have, will... then yeah. You know, yeah, I think like I reading, Lexi said, I think it might be in like flashbacks. Maybe we'll get flashbacks of the father being stung or something. Right. right. And I know yeah. we get flashbacks. Mm -hmm. So the, the dad, yeah. Yeah. Papa Bridgerton. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so this is this I noticed um that Benedict was the one who had the bee on his collar. Um, but I'm like, yeah. why Benedict like that would make so much more sense if they had that on Anthony throughout all of season one. Hmm. But then also, like, why are you remembering your father by the thing that killed him? Because then that's also like very morbid. <laughs> so I think there I are bees everywhere. Like, if I I remember seeing an interview, which I watched like all the interviews, that there are bees hidden throughout like every costume. Like not every costume, but like a lot of the costumes. But Benedict's was the most obvious. Yeah. They probably just did it for fans. Yeah, that's true. In, in real life, Benedict isn't aware of it at all. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so this was actually also in the Smythe Smith series. <laughs> um, so she's reused this line before, um, but I don't know. I did see a photo of um, someone was holding the two bundles of flowers in a photo. Um, and wouldn't that be Anthony gave them like both flowers and he like references when oh. I did that because I love that scene. Yes, I love yeah. that scene too. Mm hmm. I feel like there's a photo for that. I, okay, I need to find this video that everybody's referring to. I started I it and it. I stopped because I didn't want to spoil myself. I haven't even watched the trailer. Honestly, time. like I was too nervous to watch the trailer. So I'm just letting, I'm going in blind. Yeah, I didn't watch you the trailer either. The trailer, the trailer is amazing, like, but it's, it's good. I feel like you should watch it. <laughs> I just wanted to Maybe. watch this season for the first time. I didn't want to watch the trailer or see any of the costumes or nothing. So I was just like, no, I'll just, I'll just start watching it. I just want to get excited and like go in season one or season two, just like blank, not blank. I've read the books. I'm not blank, but like blank to the show. Yeah. No, but because we kind of know, have read the books and know like the trajectory of the story, there is so much like non surprise that first time watchers would get that I think that's why I've kind of avoided like any promotion because I'm like, I just want to be surprised. <laughs> I agree with you. They give it, it away. Like so they're, they're really doing I, yeah, like. I agree more along the lines of the book than the first season it feels like mm -hmm. so i like that well i think we can all agree and maybe this is me just talking but i think this is one of julie quinn's very best books like mm -hmm. period the end yeah i hear more people say that they like book two more than any of the other versions I think, oh, for I, sure. I this think was my top favorite, three. hands down, of the series. I liked this one, like, ten times better than the first book. 
And I think it also really lends itself to a movie. Like, I think it's like, I think the Duke and I was really nuanced too. And I think that, but I think the show did a really good job of making it more nuanced. But I think that the, the, the Viscount in me already has that like built in. Yeah. The Vic- Viscount loves me. Oh my God. I'm losing it. <laughs> Tired. I had a hard time reading it this time around without envisioning the new character's faces in my yeah. mind. So I was yeah. fighting that the whole time. <laughs> That's what we were talking about. We were saying like we enjoyed this reread better, maybe because we were picturing the actors. I, in our- I yeah. think I that's all. Yeah, I loved it so much more this time around than the first time that I read it. I loved yeah. it the same, but I'm weird because um, I have a vision of them in my head when I first read them, and I don't want to lose that and start viewing like people from the show. So I, <laughs> I never um, picture faces like even if they're on the cover, even if I've seen like movies or TV shows, like. But I always like purposely that the faces are very amorphous to me. I don't know. And it makes me feel better. <laughs> like I don't like, I, I'd I like think, to have that completely separate. Yeah. I think everyone in my mind is just more perfect. <laughs> <laughs> they are. No one can live up to like the image in my mind. Yeah. I don't know. This book was like number five out of all of them for me so really yeah but rereading it like when I first read it like Rachel had we were talking before this we both gave it four stars when we first read it but on Mm -hmm. my reread I like loved it like 10 times better than when I first read it before the show came out so I don't know if it's because I have the actors in mind and like yeah and this was the book where I actually understood the hype I feel like I'm in the minority of I did not like the first book at all like I actually hated the first book I when I first, first read it like the weakest, so. yeah, I, it I the yeah I read it I was like I don't know why people love this series so much and then I read the second book and I was like oh <laughs> I get it I get it like this is good <laughs> We don't think Benedict's book is the weakest. And that's, oh, I, love that's Benedict. I love Benedict's book. Yeah. No, that's it's just his favorite. Yeah. No. <laughs> Benedict like, in the no, show is, is amazing. Evil. Benedict is an asshole. <laughs> no, yeah, he, I feel like Benedict, he, he, yeah, he is. He is. In the show, I feel like he's a little more tame than how he is. Yes. Mm-hmm. I he's agree. a little more like cute. And... I think he'll get an edge maybe this season. I think that they're I hinting. I, maybe. Did anyone feel like the bisexual energy from him in the show? Yeah, I did. Definitely. Yes. Yes, he did. But um, I think they'll do sense. anything with that. Oh, I, think, I don't know. I think they'll do something with it. I think they'll. Will go they there. not have the heroine of book three? I think you can I, be bisexual and he can end up with a woman, but maybe. I think they'll keep the heroine. I don't think they're that stupid, but I would hope that's <laughs> that stupid. <laughs> and then Eloise, kind of like, are they going to? But then they've already had Philip in there, so it's mm-hmm. like you can't not have Eloise and Philip together. True. Right. It's hard for me to picture Philo- Eloise in the the Eloise of the show in with Philip. Yeah. But I hope they give Philip some serious character development. But I love that book, but I don't think he's actually that developed in the books either because he just plops out of nowhere. So That's I actually true. like Eloise in the show more than I do in the book. Mm. Yeah. There's pieces of the show that I did like better than the book, and there's pieces of the book that I liked better than the show. Like, I hated the Sienna storyline in the I show. Oh, God. <laughs> I, hated it. Wow. I was like, this is the worst. Why did they do this? It was so angsty. Oh, my gosh. What's the I opera singer? The class difference. Yeah, the opera singer. It just Ooh. made him look like such a jerk, and I hated it. I feel like he was so much... Oh. Yeah. I think that's how he really was, though. Like in hey, the book, it's just behind the scenes. Hey, Hi. Oh, sorry, I'm late. <laughs> no, you're fine. Um, what I always forget about, though, because it like literally is nowhere in the books, is the Queen storyline and how oh, yeah. she's still gonna be after Lady Whistledown, and they've shown Eloise like with pamphlets, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. like all of the, and I don't know if Eloise is still going to be going after her. Eloise, well, I think I, they announced it so early in comparison to when they announced it in the books. Yeah, but it's like where are they going to go with that? Because you lost like that intrigue of like, oh, who is Lady Whistledown? Or, I mean, I guess it was easy to guess even when you were reading it. But yeah, that that's the only thing I'm confused. Like, how are they going to keep that going? I think well, they I think- did it so that we can get closer to Penelope as a character, maybe. Yeah, oh, and I get, I like the people don't really not ever. It, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't rewatched the show yet, 
but we the people don't not everyone knows no it's just like no it's just us the walk readers viewers know which i think is cool i think that makes sense i mean I think even in season two, we'd probably be able to guess. Like, I think in the books, it's much easier to keep it because you don't see Penelope as clearly as in the show. Like, she's in a 300 page book, it's harder to make her more of a main character than in the show when you have hours to do it. Yeah. I was under the impression that, like, they weren't sure how many seasons they were going to get. And that's why they announced so many things earlier than they do in the books. Oh, and also, yeah. like, condensing it in TV is a little bit better to keep, like, a viewer's attention. And I think that it's interesting that the Queen has taken on part of Lady Danbury's role. Because in Romancing Mr. Bridgerton is when Lady Danbury is like, I want to know who this is. Like yes. she just like yells about it out of all, right? Yes. And so now we've got like the queen is the one that's like, we have to figure this out, which I think is cool. Very true. Um, I don't know if I've heard this, but I do think we get more of Colin with his traveling and like wanting to find his purpose in life, which I hated about his book. And that's why he was so annoying to me in his book. But <laughs> he annoyed me too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Colin, his book wasn't my favorite. Highly recommend reading that book when you're 14 because you're going to be like, Colin! (laughs) Uh, Francesca's book is my favorite, so if Michael ever shows up in any of the seasons, I'm going to die. I can't even imagine. But she's not even in the show, so like, we saw her for like two scenes in season one. Yeah, and that was it. She's just gone. Yeah, It makes sense for the series, though. I mean, she is in the books, but like, age her up a little so we can get her storyline faster <laughs> yeah i yeah i agree i actually thought that it would have been better for the show if they had made the siblings a little closer in age like all of them i agree yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. especially if they do all the seasons you know and they might have yeah to they'd have to age off. up everyone else make right them pretty old at least they kept newton <laughs> yep he his feed in the trailer day. was hilarious in the book <laughs> what a star honestly where's yeah, the social media do we need to follow him like where's this dog social media I need to follow after, him after <laughs> season 2 releases like everyone is going to have like Corgi's pets. it's going to be like a big thing mm-hmm. <laughs> and they're all going to be named Newton or yeah. one of the characters <laughs> uh, trying to catch up I, I did hear we're going to get possibly Bridgerton Funko Pop Oh my god, I was going to ask you about that. Oh, I would be better. Yeah. It's, it's like uh, they like announce like future products, but they don't give you any kind of thing about them, and there's no like announcement. They're just listed as like Bridgerton figurine one, two, three, and four, I think. Okay. So that's, cool. that's cute. But I feel, I don't know, who would they do? Daphne and Simon? Kate and Anthony? Probably. Jane? Yeah. If they did the Corgi, if they did Well, Newton, that'd be I think it's season one that they'll be making them for. If I remember correctly, that's so it was Daphne and Simon, right? The other two, I am not, I have no idea who they do. I was so confused for a second. I thought you said bento boxes, and I thought you meant like the lunches. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? You guys said Funko Pop, got it. <laughs> I was confused. Okay. Oh my gosh, okay. I know I'm behind on comments, but like, I don't know why I just love the Sienna plot line and i know you it's, love it yes, you I, love it. I hate it i love it i love it I, love it. Oh, yes. <laughs> I feel like it completely ruined anthony's character and made him look like no. such a jerk it made me understand yeah. him more because in that's the book true. i was like you're annoying because the only thing that's holding you back is just your dad and i was like well that's stupid but now <laughs> I, I mean, now you've had your heart broken and like, no and then his obsession with her almost makes it feel like I don't know, minimizes the love that he's going to have in this season. That's I don't exactly know. how I feel. Like, I feel offended on Kate's behalf. Thank you. She is, he's supposed, she's supposed to be his first love, you know? Yeah. Not, not this other person. I, uh, he really yeah. I just seems like he's obsessed with a bunch of girls. Yeah. I feel like maybe they'll take out his, like, fear or, like, his thought of dying, like, at a certain age. And instead, he's, like, against love because of his thing with Sienna. Yeah. Maybe. maybe. And that might, that might be why they did it. But I still don't like that he actually thought he loved her because he's not supposed to love her. Is Sienna going to be in the second <laughs> season? Oh, I God. Seen her I have heard her being in it. Okay. Because rereading it, his like mistress mm-hmm. was the one who right? came into the office scene. Yeah, Maria. Mm-hmm. Is that going to be Sienna? 
Or maybe, yeah, maybe there's someone new. They could do that. A new mistress? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Well, as you hear I from mean, the book, supposed he, to be he right. has, like, yeah. sometimes guys, two at a time, they said. <laughs> right. Well. Did you guys see the Tessa Bailey TikTok that she posted recently? And she was talking about creating her hero. And they were like, her edit, she was she was pretend talking to her editor and she's like your hero can have she he can have loved people before and she's like no, no. he can't no. and she goes that's and not her her brand. like yes he can and she's like he's she's like why can't he have loved anyone she's like he should have sensed her and that's how I feel about <laughs> he should have sensed her he should have <laughs> known exactly. there was a great love waiting right. for him <laughs> yeah I, I feel just, like there's a very different feel almost to his character in in this season just based off of the trailer. The trailer. Yeah. And to me, rakes. I, I I agree, guys. He's a rake, but like rakes don't fall in love. That's why I, I like. Yeah, exactly. I think and in my mind, it's like, like in a book, hearing them that they've had mistresses before, but I don't necessarily like want an active love story with a mistress on page or on the screen. This is how I feel about like. I don't know if anyone else watched The Bachelor season now. But... Oh my god! You're <laughs> no. like. Who does he love the most? I'm like, get out of here. He only loves one person. <laughs> that was a mess. I feel like he, um, he thinks he loves Deanna, but that's not like true love. It was just like who he's loved. That's what, how I feel. I feel like it was more of like an obsession. Yeah. 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 Love. yeah. yeah. I am I also concerned about Penelope um, and how she's going to look as Lady Whistledown. Mm-hmm. I think they will make her meaner than she is in the books, but hopefully not. I, or at I least not that, as much of a pushover. Yeah, I think that will add some depth to her character, at least. Like, mm-hmm. I, I love Penelope. She's one of my favorite characters in like, all of romance novels, but I think in a show, it makes sense to make her a little meaner because we're all kind of mean right on the inside. And if I had like an anonymous column, well, I, think we, I think we couldn't resist getting a little mean. She did yeah. that with Marina she in that. season one. She did. And, like, she was a little mm-hmm. vindictive there, like mm-hmm. doing it for her own gain. And that's not anything she did in the books. I don't know. I feel like I she tried to fight it a bit though, too. Like, I feel like she was trying not to do what, she, you know what I mean? Like, she didn't quite enjoy doing it. Like, she was trying to talk her right. out of what she was doing. So that's that true. helped. <laughs> that's true. I don't know. I've heard different things. Yeah, I don't know. know. Nothing's official, right? Three or four se- or four seasons are officially signed on for. Okay. And Shonda okay. Rhimes said that she expects all books to be made, but that's not something she has is able to like confirm or like you know what I mean. But the are first the four actors? seasons are. Or the what? Are the actors signed on or? Um, I think for the four seasons, but that's all that's been like contracted okay. or whatever. Um, and they're filming season three this summer, so a few months from now. Okay. What do you guys think about the casting for Kate Sharma? Because I watched Sex Education, so I've seen her there, and I'm obsessed. I I'm so excited. I think it's great. I love she her. Really has, like that attitude. Mm-hmm. I love she her. totally fits the character, like per and perfectly, and so does the actress for Edwina. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But to be honest, I haven't been disappointed in any of their choices for yeah. the actors and actresses. Yeah. It does look like we see Edwina a lot more than I remember seeing her in the book. Yeah, she's not. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. I'm wondering I also who they'll wonder... make Edwina marry. Yeah. Her romance is so cute in the book, though. Yeah, her romance she, is cute. She gets married to, like, Mr. Bagwell or whatever, whoever that guy yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. Some random oh, dude. Her <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> At the house party, right? Off page, mm-hmm. but he's, he's a scholar. So. Yes. Um, I don't remember. Did Penelope lose weight in this book? She did. Yeah, she did. I remember because there's a scene where somebody's like, "Remember, she used to be fat." Like, they right. were terrible yes. to her, and, and then she's like I two stone heavier. Yes. Yeah, two stone heavier. Yep, they were terrible to her. They always made it mm-hmm. seem like it was like a puberty thing. Like she just kind of well, she went in so young, baby fat. and she yeah. lost her baby yeah. fat. That's what they call it, which I think is kind of like, eh, but like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But at least they're not doing that in the show. No, so that's good. Yeah, I, like I don't that know better. if they're gonna make any of those comments, but and I think that's when Anthony gives what is it, Cressida, like the cut direct. Like, isn't it like her and then some other man are saying that, and then 
he throws shade at them for it. Yes. Yeah, yeah he comes up and like escorts her to dinner. I wonder if they'll have the scene where Colin talks about Penelope with Anthony and uh, Benedict. That he'll never marry her. And then he'll never marry her. Like, I wonder if they'll have that earlier than her season. I think they should. I think they should. I hope Someone so. Someone said they thought one of the scenes looked like they like they were wondering if that's what was going I on. I remember seeing that. Yeah. I think it makes sense to have it happen this season. Because, like, she needs that hurt to fester. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the brand deal? Brand yeah. Deal? I'm looking at spending two hundred dollars when the show drops because I gotta buy all the stupid Pat McGrath makeup again. Oh, oh yeah, I got shot by someone too. God, a whole second drop, and I just bought the first one like a month or two ago. How long ago oh, was that? Wow. <laughs> I can always rely about on you to buy all the Bridgerton stuff, <laughs> Sarah. Sadly, I rely on myself to do it too. <laughs> Well, Lacey, I'm pretty sure it came today. Mine doesn't come yet, but from Hello Lovely. Oh, yes. So cute. Oh, I was wondering. So that was Sienna singing, like, really? It looks yeah. to me like she was, yeah. Because you can tell when an actor is just, like, opening their mouth and, like, somebody else's voice is coming out. To me, that looked pretty authentic, which is cool. I think it was confirmed. Yeah, they said that she, she confirmed it on her control. Instagram that she sings. Mm-hmm. I'm just getting to all these comments now. <laughs> if uh, Sienna will show up to try to. <sighs> Dear God, I, I hope love not. Triangle. I hope not. She might just be there. She's, she's done. done. She's done. I right? hope she like, has her own happily ever after on the side. Like, I hope she's yeah, with someone. Yeah, she has something with that guy. She was yeah. with someone. It's, it's over. So. Yeah, we have to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We have to. Will we get a flashback with the dad? Do we know? I'd I love to see him. Yeah. We, well, yeah, he's it. blasted, yeah. right? Yeah, mm -hmm. there's flashbacks in the first uh, teaser trailer. Shows them. Hmm. I wonder if they'll have the end scene with the carriage and Kate, like the accident. There was something know. dramatic going on in the trailer during a storm. Oh, him, and like, on a horse. riding on that horse in the rain, like, every two yeah. seconds. I'm like, where's he going? It might be something like that, but maybe not a carriage. I don't know. Okay. But she's in some kind of accident, and that makes him realize that he wants him, blah, blah, blah. Right. <laughs> this is true, though. A lot of people Oh, my talking. gosh. I love that. Oh, so my much. God. So good. Mm -hmm. I know. Colin doesn't seem as, like... He seems a little more serious. He also has, like, facial hair now, and I feel like he looks older. So I don't know if they're, like, making him older. I don't know. Does yeah, anyone like, drop him on the photos? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he has, like, a shadow. Yeah. And didn't Anthony lose his sideburns? Yes. Yeah, Anthony looks way better. <laughs> and the, like, mutton chops. So yeah, <laughs> Oh my god, the guys, the I mean, water scene. I terrible. have seen that, like, the, like, pride. Oh, film, yeah! The water scene. <laughs> so, so they got him the thinnest shirt possible mm -hmm. to make that scene work. <laughs> I love it. I'm here for it. <laughs> I like I the mutton chops. Like, I thought they were fun. <laughs> yeah, I, like, completely yeah, they, it wasn't bad, that scene yeah. book, too. Like, the, the scene where, like, Edwina's the one that falls in. I remember Anthony falling in from the first time I read it, and I was like, wait, what is happening? But he only gets wet because, like, he helps him out and yeah. the mutant shakes off on him. Mm -hmm. But I was like, did I miss something? I've reread it, like, three times to make sure. <laughs> they had to change it so that they could give him the wet oh, shirt no. scene. Yeah. yeah. I, I approve those changes. Approve those I, changes. I like it more than the original Mr. Darcy scene so far. So. Oh, Okay. That is a bold like statement. Yeah, <laughs> controversial. <laughs> I like the other one too, but I mean, I just like Anthony more. So. Um, I don't know, Sarah. What did you post about possibly him painting a mask? Who posted that? Someone had posted something about seeing Anthony painting something, and they're like, "Is it a mask?" I, a mask I saw it on um, some Bridgerton fan accounts. I I didn't look at it that closely, but he was painting okay. something. Okay, because that would be cool though if they set up. I mean, because they set up Anthony at the end of season one, so. Yeah, they had, like, stills, and they showed him with a canvas. And painting and all that. Okay. Remember seeing oh, someone do transformation? <sighs> I think I saw someone mention, pa what, what's that game called? Paul Mall or something? Yes. Paul Mall. Yeah. 
That I'm like really hope we get into this season because that's like my favorite part of oh, it's their so band. I mean, it's the the cover it's of the book. Featured heavily right? in, the, in the yeah, it in is the, yeah. The, the, movie, movie, so, the yeah. movie poster too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Mallet of Death. <laughs> are we are we allowed to say what's in the trailer? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it, it's in the trailer. So. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I, just, I just haven't watched the trailer. I haven't watched the trailer. trailer. Yeah, I right. watched it once and then I already forgot what's in it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I watched it so many times because I watched reaction channels on YouTube and so oh, gotcha. yeah, <laughs> um I saw they posted the songs, which oh, look really? amazing. Which is Harry um, Styles. It's all Harry Styles, so that's all I need to know. <laughs> this <laughs> is interesting though. Like when do you think they put wrecking ball in there? This has to be like a a Kate thing, right? Maybe yeah, like when they're playing Paul Mall and Kate like kicks Anthony's ass. <laughs> yeah. I think it has to be an angsty scene, right? I imagine them like dancing yeah. together during. I imagine that thing. too. Like, yeah. Because mm-hmm. Anthony has to dance, but and he didn't dance a single scene in the first season, right? I don't think now so. that he's like courting. Did he people. not dance at all? I think I was seeing an interview. Didn't he dance not with even with Daphne. Like, I don't think so. Party? He made Benedict dance with her. Yeah. Oh, okay. I remember seeing an interview where he was like, I didn't have to do any dancing training because, like, that takes forever, too. Like, yeah, and stuff. And now he's just like, stalking around, scaring off <laughs> scooters. He, like, danced, he, danced, uh, he danced with Sienna in the bedroom. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> I can't wait. I hope it's just as spicy as the first season was. Like, yes. oh my I, God. I heard it is. I heard it might be I, a little more. Actually. I started watching season one, so I was heading to Florida with my mother, and we decided to start watching on the airplane, and I was oh. like, we are in public. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like five then, minutes in is the first yes. scene. So the people on the road in front of us Anthony. were also watching it. I'm like, oh, the orgy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. I, I don't know so. though, because it wasn't as like the books aren't that mm. steamy. No, no. Yeah. no. no. Which None is what I think are. is so funny. Like Julie Quinn is so tame. Like mm-hmm. yeah. her older books are so tame. Yeah. Considering I'm reading Joanna Shoop right now, and hers are definitely <laughs> have the slice. Yes. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Have you guys read Grace Calloway? Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, yeah. Grace <laughs> is a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> What? I don't remember this. Yeah, there's. Yeah. Her, okay. yeah. yeah, he wants to because he wants to sleep with her. They're married. Yeah. Like, like, married. Oh, no. yep. I do remember that conversation. And I was like, oh, I don't remember this from the first time I read it. Okay, but like you can't get mad at him because that's it's historical. Yeah. Right? yeah. And he was saying that shit, but if she really had said no, he wasn't going to do it. Yeah, yeah. it's so, true too. Right? I was like, this is not even remotely as problematic as the first book. Right. Yes. Then, so. That's right. true. And they put that in. I don't really think it'll be an issue. That'll be oh, a new content warning yeah. for uh, the Viscount who loves me. Um, Simon's friend is going to be in it again. So I wonder what they'll Which do. One? Who? The boxer, the fighter. Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh okay. That's cool. Cool. Yeah, because now Lord Featherington's dead and the whole Featherington clan is <laughs> right. Kind of- like oh, yeah. that'll be wild. Did they actually, did they cut out um Penelope's like little sister? Because in the book she has like yeah, Flip sister. is not in it. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I sister. forgot. Yeah, I forgot yeah. she had a little you. sister. Three. She has a little sister and she's cool. She's like the cool feather. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I, I, feel like maybe, I think she was in the schoolroom. It's a lot like, like Kate. Oh. It's a lot like Kate and her sister. Like. In the way that, like, Philippa is the, the young, cool, pretty one that everyone wants to be around. <laughs> yeah, they remember. cut her out completely. She's not in the sh- series. Well, I mean, they made Burbrook like a total creeper ass, but in the books, he's like just a nice guy. Like, he's, he's like a normal dude. He's <laughs> trying to court Edwina, too. I remember right, he's yeah. in the park. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Felicia. Maybe it's Felicia. I thought it was Philip. Maybe. I, I don't know. Philip sounds know. right. Felicia? Philippa has to be at least. Philippa sounds more like a historical name than Felicia. I get, I get that mixed up with the younger sister from Ravished with Amanda Quick because that's also similar. It's like the younger sister. She's like, she like wants the younger sister to like shine. 
Mm. Oh, God. It's for the younger sister's name in that book. Felicity, you're right, you guys. It's Felicity. Okay. <laughs> Felicity. Yeah. Okay, let me go. Oh, have any of you watched Pull Dark? I have not. Mm-mm. I started it and then I heard that there was like, I was in the mood for something like romantic and good. And then I heard that like there's infidelity, and I was like, "Yeah, I heard that too." <laughs> so I didn't finish it. I want to watch it, but I just mm. I got to be in the mood, I guess, to try it. So. Okay. Well, and everyone is obsessed with Sanditon too, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think people are gonna be torn between how they handled something because I saw the first episode, but I think it it was good. Like how it turned out. So, oh, speaking of, know, did any of you get the access to the first episode of Bridgerton for Wednesday? Did you sign up no, for it? I talked to Wendy and Tony too, and they didn't get an email for it. Like no one. I saw it anything. posted, and like it closed within like five minutes. Oh, like signing up, like you had to put your email in, and they're doing like a, a like a Zoom or something for the first episode. Was like, it on Instagram? Instagram? Did they post yeah. it on Instagram? I don't know anybody who's like said um, they didn't get to do it. Yeah, oh. they shared it through Twitter, and then I didn't see it except Wendy and Tony shared it to me, or else I wouldn't even seen it. Is anyone I saw going someone those... shared it on Instagram. Is anyone going to those Bridgerton live events that they posted about last year? Oh, right. I am. <laughs> no, I'm excited. They're having one. When is They're it? They're having one in DC in April, and I'm oh, going. Cool. I booked my ticket. Oh, that's fun. Oh, have yeah. you like gotten your? Oh, I, I have booked my flight. I have booked my tickets. Like I'm going. That's exciting. I'm excited. That is a cool scene. Yeah. Pinky scene. I'm excited for the pinky scene. Oh mm-hmm. Their like looks at each other do make me think that Simon, not Simon, that Colin does say, "I'll never marry Penelope." Yeah, yeah. I could see it happening this season, and I think it technically happens in book three, like towards the end, very end of book three, and then they do a recap of it in yeah. Romance and Mr. Bridgerton. That's true. when does book three start? Because um, I know it shows like. At the ball, like when is the ball? Actually? I thought it was at the very beginning, right? It's like close. So I, I mean, like right? in the time frame of all their stories, because I think that goes a little into the future afterwards. Like she gets sent away it's, from her, she runs Island away from her. something. I, I think it, it does. It like it like ages up the characters a little bit because his mm-hmm. takes over years, so that adds some age to the characters. But four, yeah. five, and six are all at the same time. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. So then I didn't know if they were going to do, like, seasons four, what, season four have four, five, and six stuff going on. But Maybe. I think that's too much. Each season, oh. they may, I feel like. Yeah. Huh. I was concerned about this, because Eloise is talking to someone, but <laughs> someone said, well, first of all, that Eloise <laughs> has many proposals that she mm-hmm. denies. And it's also, true. she's still trying to find Lady Whistledown. So there could be multiple. Someone told me, like, he worked for a lady, a printing press or something. And that's why. And I was like, I don't know how you know this, but I've heard <laughs> different theories. Yeah, I, I've seen a picture of him, like, in a printing room. Oh, were you so the, the one that told me about that? Because someone had told me that. I, I was like, hey, I you don't, know I don't he remember. Printing press. Okay, okay. He, yeah, he's got, like, an apron on and there's, like, all kinds of paper. Print, like, paper okay, that would make there. sense. She better not have any love interest other than Philip. That's all I'm saying. So, she'll be like her first. <laughs> oh God, Anthony, Sienna. Yeah. I don't know. That's different. Because I didn't love Kate and Anthony when I read their book. So I was fine with Anthony having oh. love interest, but... Guys, I have I to head out. Thank you so much for including me. This was so fun. Bye. 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 Oh, I know. I saw that and I got so excited. It's going to be oh, in the man. songs featured. That's yeah. cool. I... I've been waiting. I'm surprised they've never done a be. They haven't done a Beyonce song, have they? I don't think so. They no. should. I feel like that would have been perfect. Like you know, Queen Bee. <laughs> Scandalous. <laughs> Scandalous. I don't know why, but whenever I think of gloves, I still always think of like so off the wall, but Frozen, like with Hans and the gloves. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I guess if I see someone with gloves, I'm like evil. <laughs> I wonder how they'll get money, though. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What are they going to do? Are they sponsored by someone? 
Okay. I mean, they're friends with the Bridgerton family. The Bridgerton family is wealthy, so. Oh, sorry. All of these people were saying the right name. I know who right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, see? BFF that makes sense. Friends, that makes so it's sense. like, why did they cut her out? I totally don't remember her. Maybe she's at like a boarding school. Maybe they'll bring her in in a later season. That's what I'm yeah, hoping maybe. for. I mean, because in season one, they show Hyacinth and Gregory. And so I was like, and they showed Francesca like two times for like two seconds. And then she was gone. I was like, where'd she go? Yeah, she has like two scenes mm -hmm. in the book or in the show. Yeah. <laughs> Penelope has money, but how is she going to explain how she got the money? Right, that's like, true. Book four. Is it that far apart? I don't think it's it's, it's seven years after book three. Okay. Um, that, that's still a big time jump. Wow. Yeah. Eloise and Colin don't get together until El uh, sorry Penelope. Penelope oh is, is thirty when they get together. She's, she's like no, no, no. I, I, I have my I think notes she's like from when I yeah, did. Some, I think she's in her early twenties. She's twenty eight. Oh, Dang. So ten years. I could have sworn she was like yeah. twenty three. No, she's oh my gosh for Colin historical time. That's <laughs> that is she old. She's just raking in the money that was Lady Whistledown. That's so. true. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because she was wasn't she putting it off in season one? Eloise like was kind of supposed to. Yeah, her yeah. mom said. Oh, speaking of the mom, a sidetrack. I feel like Anthony was so disrespectful to the mom in season one. And I don't remember him doing that in the books. And like even rereading yeah. the second book, I'm like, he respected his mom. And she was like the matriarch of the family. I mean, yeah. she put him in his place, though. Yeah, but family. he was a little jerk about it. I was like, he yes. better not be that disrespectful in this book. Yeah, they kind of made him more of a jerk than he was. In season yeah. One. yeah. But maybe, more maybe like that'll immature. give him a better like character arc in the next season. No. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I just think they did him dirty in the first season. I I really <laughs> want him to have his moment. Right. And like the, the mutton chops, that was, you know, the second thing they did. Um, <laughs> did you guys like the Bridgerton musical? I didn't watch it. I haven't I listened it. to it, actually. Oh, it was, yeah. So I didn't love it as much as everyone else did. I do oh think God, it was it. amazing. I love musicals and I thought it was amazing, but I didn't think it was like that amazing. I loved it. So, <laughs> but I don't think they would do a second one. They had to get like permission from Netflix to be able to do it the first yeah. one. And now their careers are like blowing up. So I don't see them doing this. Yeah. yeah. This is true though, that they probably have a relative come to inherit well, they, everything, right? They say that in season oh, yeah. one, that they have like, a letter or something from whoever. And like they were waiting for the person to come. I feel like that was mentioned in season one. Say that again? Um, yeah, I at the like very the end. Cousin was mentioned in season one. I, th oh, I thought the mom mentioned it. Their oh, maid yeah. lady or whatever brought like a letter. Yeah. I don't know what it said, but it like someone that was coming or something. Yeah, they were waiting for someone to come. Did they mention this in the in the show? I don't remember them ever talking about Francesca, except to mention her name and like the birth order. But. I just remember her coming and like Daphne hugged her when mm -hmm. she like showed up at oh, the end yes. again. They're like keeping her a secret for some reason. I don't know. Well, she isn't really in the books that much either. That's true. Not. Until her book, which I love, but that's just why. <laughs> you always have to be like, my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys think of the episode titles? I don't think I saw them. I didn't either. Well, I like I like the capital R for Ray. Yes, yeah. that's, that's number like, one. Right in the first like Ooh. you know chapter. So they did show Simon like with another woman in bed in the first season. So do you think that we'll get that in this first episode with him with a mistress? Probably. I don't. <laughs> like, I, mean, I if don't it's because... rake with a capital, well, capital R rake. Are they going to show him being a rake? Like a, show a, him montage. Being a, rake? a montage of. Him I don't want a montage. A montage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. 
I feel like they won't, but they could because, you know. Me too. Oh my God. I am dying for them to go to a musicale and it be terrible. And then everybody talks about like, (laughs) I love that stuff so much in the books. How much? Have you read the Spice Miss series? I have. It's so good. It is. It's so, it's so cute. So good. Yeah. I I love the feature from the series and I did not like it. I'd I'd like if they feature it, but just don't give us like any like specific characters from this, from them. Because if we ever was to like get a series one day, you know, yeah, yeah just just give me like the bad music out. Yeah, like, oh yeah, that's all I need. Yeah, because <laughs> we see the Bridgertons and Lady Danbury in Smy Smith. So, yeah, a lot of her series Lady Danbury is everywhere. <laughs> she sure is. Yes. Um, but the second episode's called "Off to the Races," and we and I remember seeing one of those scenes. Of them like at a horse race. Yes. Like, that was released super early on. I remember them mm-hmm. showing they were filming at the horse races. And I'm like, what is this? Because that was, was nowhere in the book. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that's going to be really cool. Yeah. It's where we get to, or everyone gets to show off their their clothes, their dresses. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, but episode three is a bee in your bonnet. So what was Is that? Is that the bee sucking scene? That's way too early. That's way that too, too early. Maybe but, a flashback. Someone says what the phrase actually means. What does the phrase mean? That like being butt hurt, like yeah, a bee in your bonnet. Yeah, yeah I've never heard bonnet. that before. <laughs> I feel like that's a southern thing because I've never heard that before. <laughs> I've heard it like a couple times. It's not something that like anybody actually really says, but okay. <laughs> Um, but I think I saw someone say they think an unthinkable fate. Sarah, this could have been you. I see all of your stories and all the other stories of people, but an unthinkable fate was where it possibly the B scene mm-hmm. where like it's their fate to have the marriage of convenience now. Cause that's still like a it. good third of the book is after they have their marriage yeah. of convenience. That's and... true. That's true. Mm-hmm. Cause Simon and Daphne have get married episode five, four, end of four. Something, right? Is it five? I can't remember now. I think it. I don't know. It was pretty early on, so I feel like they would do that. So they could do that too. I don't know. Yeah, they had like three or four episodes where they were married and they were just like avoiding each other all the time. Right. Yeah. There was a scene with them just just sleeping together, their honeymoon phase. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. The entire episode. Yeah. Don't watch Helen. <laughs> <Halloween. laughs> it was in Harry Potter. What? I guess that's an English thing. What? I don't remember that. But okay. I take your word for it. I've never heard this phrase before. Really? <laughs> Me either. No. Oh, someone asked and I don't know who it was. Um, Who's Rokesby? The prequel series. I would. like. Oh. oh. I actually I thought it would have been so cool if they brought in like Rokesby family members like they're going to be old now, but, like, they come yeah. for, like, one of the house parties or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just a casual mention. Well, like, they'd be, they're, like, Violet's age, age, so. Yeah. What series like, is her that? Sister, her sister-in-law. Her sister-in-law. I can't remember what they're saying. It's the prequels, so it's, like, when um, Violet and Edmund are still, like, really young. Violet's, like, 19 at the time. Yeah, yeah. Colin yeah. has and just Colin. been born. Yeah. Oh. Was that a novella? No, it's, it's a four book series. Well, it's, it's just featured in the book. Like, they, it wasn't like, yeah. Isn't it like the other Miss Bridger? Is, isn't one of them called? Yes. Yeah. But they don't get their own book. Right. Who? They get that novella oh, in the Happily Ever Afters bind up. Oh yes. Right, right. Okay. But they're side characters in the Rokesby series? Yeah, like in the first book they're mentioned. Yeah, that. they pop up a little bit like Anthony and Benedict oh, are little kids and Edward, then Colin. There's Edward and, and Andrew. Okay. Billy Bridgerton. I liked her book actually. I thought it was how did I not know? I knew she had other books with Bridgerton in the title, but I didn't know. Yeah. That they would have those characters in it. Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. 
Got it. I mean, it sounds like a very posh saying. It does, yeah. Everyone apparently has heard of this, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Yes, they mention this My Smith musical, don't they? They mention it a lot. I yeah. think it would be hilarious if they included it. Oh my god, I'd die. That is so funny. Every time they mention it, I laugh. Oh, an unthinkable fate could be. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm Okay. I liked the other Miss Bridgerton. I, I haven't heard much about that series. No, I, I like the Rokesby's more than the Smythe Smiths. Oh, really? I love okay. the Smythe Smiths. I okay. didn't really like the Smythe Smiths. Only one of them was good for me. They were kind of middle of the road for me for the most part. But yeah, I no, I didn't like the Smythe Smith series. I've only, well, I've only read one book, so actually let me not say that. It like centers around a duel though, and like I love it. So. That is, yeah, that is interesting. The first I read the one like, where the one who comes back from the duel, the guy who got shot, comes back. You didn't like that no, one? No, the brother. That was my favorite. No, not the brother, not the brother. The one who the got one shot. Got got oh yeah. yeah, I didn't like that one either. Oh, I <laughs> hate so it. Like, they go to the wedding together, and then you see I didn't like the him. person. He, uh. it, there, there was something romantic to me about that book. They were like bickering the whole time. It was yeah, too. I and totally episode. agree. Oh, some of all kisses. Yes, that one. And I feel like the girl was just so mean and like vindictive. And the person oh, she blamed action. him. Yeah, she blamed him because For ruining her ruined season. her cousin's life. But the cousin already forgave him. So I was like, why? Why are we? Well, ruined people? her season, so she never got to like have anybody marry her i was like this man got shot and you're worried about a season i can't <laughs> yeah i really, I, I really love him but yeah the the heroine in that one she was a, she did great on my nerves a little bit but i like yeah, the hero really a lot in that him. Book. Yeah. Like, 10, 10 things i love about you is actually like my favorite julia quinn book like alongside oh that's a good one album. it's a yeah. third book and right? it's kind of special i think it's kind of special to like the series oh yes it, it is. Has, the hero right. yeah, yeah. I don't know if you guys have read it. So. Which book is that? Ten Things I Love About You. I have it, but I didn't have read it. It. Hmm. I mean, I could say something, but I don't want to spoil it. So. I I actually haven't heard of that book. Now that I'm thinking about it, it features something. Um, the book that Hyacinth reads. The oh. the mad. The mad what is that Yeah. Yeah. So you learn about that in that book, like um, it, yeah, that's all. I want to ruin it. <laughs> With Simon, I think they're just going to be like, he's off doing this. He's a duke. He's booked and busy. He's busy. I, I seriously heard someone say somewhere about, they asked one of the people that works on the show, one of the showrunners or something, about if he if there'll be a cameo or something. And the guy said he can't say anything. Like, he didn't say anything. Is what he told him. So that doesn't mean, like, that there is a cameo, but... You could just I don't think we're gonna it's not, it's not a no. Secret, though. I feel like it would right. be a no if like they saw yeah. Reggie there. <laughs> yeah, I feel gone. like they made it pretty clear that he's gone. Yeah, they made like yeah, a whole announcement of him being That's gone. True. I feel like it was too much of a big deal for them to just have him do a cameo. I agree. Yeah, yeah. I think he's booked and busy as a duke. As sad as yeah. that sounds. Yeah, makes me sad that he won't be in the Pall Mall scene, but it is what it is. Yeah, that's the only scene I really am like upset that he's not going to be in. But everything else, I'm like, okay, it's Anthony's yeah. story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they like it. It's their tradition too. Afterwards, like every year since like that first game, they do it every year. With the yeah, and he's like in the scene, like him, like he's yeah, he's <laughs> uninterested he's in like the bickering, and he's yeah, he's definitely in it. So, mm -hmm. yep. unused footage from season one wouldn't they need some type of i don't think so i heard this someone mentioned this maybe I, I would even be game for that <laughs> oh yeah they announced it pretty much as soon as like bridgerton was yeah. over yeah, yeah. He, he was, was, up he to was talking about it too he was done by like, life <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> which does make me annoyed because I'm like, this like literally established your career. I know, and, like, gave you so many options. Like the least you could do is come back for one scene. I yeah. know, 
That's I, all I, I would have had to do. I feel conflicted about that. Hey, just come back to Cuomo. That's it. Just one scene. Pretty sure your schedule could fit that, but. I think I don't, but it, that's his prerogative, but still. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, because I am an actor myself, like, I would love to, to come back to just do a cameo, but then also do other things. Like, I would love to be able to have, like, the best of both worlds. Yeah. But, yeah, that's his prerogative. It is what it is. Yeah. I feel like it would be important to me if I were in his shoes. Yes. Like, something, that I, something I'm a part of would be more important to me than that, not to, you know. I agree. Yeah. It could also be, like, what if he has, like, an exclusivity contract with another producer? Like, it's probably so much more than him not wanting to come back. I don't know how that stuff works in the film industry, so. No. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. Oh, I've not heard this. Oh. I hope not. That's sad. <laughs> it would make sense if, like, all the other characters signed on for four seasons because, like, their books are. Does Continue. that mean, like, for Anthony, did he sign on for four seasons? Or I hope so. Seasons? I really hope that none of the family leaves. Right. Oh, that's well, true. Maybe it was, like, the core for different characters. Yeah, it would make sense for Anthony to stay um, because Daphne stayed. And then maybe we just don't get Kate a lot. I know Reggae, is that how you say his name? Reggae, yes. yes. I know he's working on Dungeons and Dragons. But that's all oh. I, I have heard the James Bond thing, but also I feel like James Bond, I hear so many different actors' names like thrown out there. Yeah. <laughs> I just know was supposed to do it, and the fact that that didn't happen makes me so sad. Yeah. Same. Same. I agree. Okay, I mean, this is true. Like, we only care about Kate and Anthony, so at the end of the day. Yeah. True. Yeah, it doesn't actually bother me. When the announcement came, some people were had really, like, nasty things to say, and it does yeah. not bother me. I think it's just, like, Reggae Jean Page himself. Like, they want him, not necessarily. Yeah. Not necessarily not. Simon. Where, like, just want his sex to face on the screen. Yeah. Yeah. This does make me sad, though, if this is the case, because, like, what do you mean you're trying to move on from that yeah, image? Like, like, a bad the romance image. Hero image. Yeah. Like, I feel like people made that assumption. Yeah, I, I think people are just making the assumption. I don't think he ever said that. I don't think he ever said. I think people were just assuming that, like, oh, romance is lesser, and he just wants to get away from that. I don't think that's really what it is. I'm sure it had to do with his schedule then, because he got so much attention from the show yeah. and won yeah. awards for the show, and probably got a lot more job offers. But yeah. I'm glad that. Phoebe, like she kind of blew up like he did, maybe not quite to the degree because he's like, you know, but she blew up a lot and she has been working since then, like on a lot of films, but she's still like, you know, came back to the show. So I'm glad about that. At least. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I forget what I wanted to ask. No, I don't remember. I hope that they feature the really great relationship with like Kate's stepmother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that I, was I sweet. love that dynamic. It's so sweet. I did like that a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm wanting them to make Kate and um, Penelope friends though, because they kind of like allude to them being like they form a bond together. It mentions in her book. Yeah, they so, do. Like, they I'd do like them to be friends. Well, and she has a couple friends. interactions with Eloise in her book too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know what the scene was. They showed like two seconds of a church. So it was Anthony at the Yes. What do you call that? And next to him was Benedict as his best man. You think it was a shows. dream? If it's a Dwina, you think it was a dream that Kate had of like her actually could, like, that, the that could be a, a dream sequence. And they could still have like a real one too. I don't mm -hmm. know. Weird. <laughs> yeah. Just lost. Okay. But Charles. I mean, when they get married in the book, they get married in the like the Bridgerton house. So, but it was very quick, right? Man. Didn't they like have a super fast? It was life? very quick. It was yeah. very like low key. They just like got it done. But I think I could imagine Kate having a dream of Edwina going through this wedding. Yeah. The, two the, 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 or maybe we get two weddings in this season. 
That would actually be really nice to actually see Edwina like get married. Hey, that's good if they did. Mm. Yeah. Well, I hate watching the show and people like Yeah. Yes. And Jessica said, I think it's important to keep the Bridgerton family at least. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Especially like Anthony. He's so important throughout the whole series. Yeah. That's why it is kind of scary watching if it just goes to eight seasons. It's kind of scary because you're afraid of losing characters. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, how old are they going to be in eight seasons? I know. Daphne's going to be old. Anthony's going to be old. Well, I but guess they, they have their characters, yeah. so it's kind of like yeah. Outlander. Like they have to. Make them all True. Outlander, they just like put some gray oh, hair gray. and that's it, and like gave him reading glasses. <laughs> and I was like, he's not fifty. <laughs> <laughs> and well, then better, like, Claire then... dyed her hair once, and then she never had to dye it again. I, so. I'm just glad they don't do the like prosthetics to make people look like an old person, because then it looks really weird. I think that would just take too, way too much time every episode to have to do that for the rest of the. That's true. So. Yeah. Or we could like do a Twilight where we like edit the <laughs> So I. I, I, saw Twilight. I mentioned this in my trailer reaction about how Kate is like the not pretty sister right. and how she doesn't believe anybody whenever they tell her she's pretty. So that's why when Anthony told her that, I think it was when the first time they were like together, right? And she got mad that he would say that. And he's like, why are you mad? She's like, well, because you want me pretty. Yes. Not. Yes. Yeah. Not. I think they might, because they aged Kate up a little bit, they might just explain it as like, she's just old. And they might just explain that like, the reason why she's not married is because she's her personality, let's say, right? Because she's not like the, yeah. the perfect, pretty, like Edwina, like she has like an opinion. Submissive. She's going to voice it. Yeah. And I think that's how they're going to explain that away. Okay. Because I remember she's this being gorgeous. Like, she's gorgeous. Like, right? You can't say, why'd you call me pretty? Because you, like, have you looked in a mirror? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. They're, they're saying that they aged her up, that she's 26 in the show. Yeah. Which makes sense because of the actress. Well, and like, Penelope and uh, Eloise are supposed to be, what, like, 17? I think so. In the yeah. in the book, at least I know. That. Yeah, yeah. Well, Daphne's supposed to be eighteen, right? Because she had her her. She came out, and you come out when you're eighteen. Yeah, she, yeah. She was seventeen, eighteen. Did they say that in the show? No, I don't, I don't think they mention the ages. Think so I don't think they mentioned the ages. I don't know. Do you think it's going to be a love triangle? I mean, it wasn't really that much of a love triangle in the book. No. I think if it is, it's just like Edwina's confused and she thinks maybe she loves him because he's courting her. But yeah, you know, it's still yeah. real life. It wouldn't really last that long, maybe an episode. Yeah, yeah I could see that happening. I just hope I feel like pit the sisters against each other. Right. But I don't think I saw a lot of them like being close in the trailer. But like in the book, they're like super close. They are. I, 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 they had quite a few moments in the trailer where, um, between her and Kate, where you could see that they were like, yeah, I think there's like at least three or four episodes with just them two like together. Really? Maybe so I, I think that. they're. I think they're gonna make them close. It just you know. Okay. I hope. Yeah, we already we talked about this earlier. Um, yeah. Oh. That we felt like Benedict had like bi energy. That's true. Which I'm surprised yeah, I was, about that. That. I was wondering if like they'll make him buy or if they're using him to like introduce, you know, like new side characters. I don't know. Cause they did they weren't really clear on it. Like it's confusing. Yeah, super big. Is it gonna be a surprise character we've seen later on? Who knows? I remember Kate had to wait because of money, right? They wanted to yes. wait until Kate and Edwina could come out together. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they had to wait for Edwina to be 17. Yes. Yeah. To make just them both come out at the same time and hopefully both married get married off. 
I mean, they could explain it in a way that they waited, but then by the time they waited, she was like on the shelf because it's a little bit older for historical romance. Mm -hmm. This does. Are you guys bothered at all by the um, the book cover going to have the three of them and not the two of them? Uh, yeah, I'm like, I mean, I really didn't need to be on the cover, but. She doesn't. Yeah, I she haven't doesn't. seen her on the cover. Is I it the one where they're isn't holding that gonna be the, the mallet and then Newton is kind of no, peeking? It, or is that just the two of them? Oh, is it just the two of them? Yeah. Oh, it must be the other promo photo where it's the three of them. Yeah. Yeah, but there's a there's lot of promo cover. where it's the three of them. Yeah. Okay. That's the main one that I've seen. So that's not okay. The book covers just the two. Okay. Well, that's good. But I've seen the promo cover of there's three of them making yeah. like this whole love triangle. They didn't release the one of Anthony and Kate until like a couple days after. So everyone was like, oh, okay. where's Anthony and Kate? <laughs> okay, okay. That's why I saw the the one. This could be true. Maybe, um, yeah. Yeah. Marina is in this season, right? Didn't I hear that? I think someone mentioned her. I've not seen any stills of her, though, or anything. So. No, I haven't seen her, but I remember someone had said. Yeah. So I know Jessen said she's going to do this, and I was tempted to, like, vlog while I watch and then do, like, a separate video of, like, a review. I think that'd be fun. Because I'm taking Friday off of work. Like, I am watching it all Friday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You should I'd be too impatient to keep pausing. Just want to watch it all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of work to do, like, a reaction style. Yeah. Um, if that's the way you want it to go. Like, that is a lot of work. Um, but there's definitely a way that you could do it. I don't know. Maybe just get a little bit creative. Hmm. I haven't seen this. A cousin of the, someone else that mentioned a cousin of the Featheringtons. Mm. Oh, I didn't even think of this. Oh, oh interesting. that could be an excuse to bring Michael. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but she marries. Is it is his name John? I don't even remember the guy's name that she married that died. I think so. I don't okay. remember. John. Yeah. <laughs> what if it's John and then Francesca's like, oh my gosh, and they like because Francesca like actually loved no, but they're yeah, they're not Scot they live in Scotland, they're not Scottish, are they? Yeah. They just live in Scotland. So. Yeah, they have like they like land in Scotland. Okay, yeah. I remember saying <laughs> Scotland, but they're not Scottish. That's I what I didn't like about her story, though, was that she actually loved. Her first husband. <laughs> it was so rough. <laughs> I think that means to say India. Yeah. Oh, India. Yeah. Well, because I mean, at that time, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. At that time in history, was the British government? Um, That's what I was thinking you know, ruling like over India. Like, I don't remember, like, the timeline of that. And so if they were, then, like, yeah, they, they did their imperialism thing, and then everybody was speaking English with an English accent. Yeah. You think Marina's dead already? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, they'd have to have... Well, she's already pregnant, right? Maybe she already had How... babies. Okay, yeah. so... There's two babies. I know. Though. Yeah. So Daphne comes twins? in. And... I are think they... they Oh, okay. Are Marina's kids not twins? Was... That's what they were I don't remember. remember. I think so. Because they weren't Phillips. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. It's only been like a year after the first season now, right? Around that. So like, would that be enough time to... Maybe. Are they? I didn't think they were Scottish. I didn't think so. They're not. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Like, can we just fast forward to Michael and Francesca's story? <laughs> <laughs> book no, we so need it. We need book five. We need I know. We need to fill up in, in Eloise. Can't fill up in Eloise. That's my True. favorite. Oh. Where are you guys reading all these articles? <laughs> oh, I can see that. 
Yeah, she is sponsoring them. I did see that. That makes sense. Yeah. I would hope they do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. Because her, but then that wouldn't really, I mean, maybe that would extend because, like, isn't Philip, like, horrified by what happened because he feel like he, like, failed her? Yeah. Because yeah. he couldn't, like, help save her. Yeah. imperialism yep daphne walks in on someone I yeah she walks again. Talks into a library and she's all shocked because she sees something she shouldn't see i guess hmm i don't know what it is <laughs> how do you guys remember these things i do not remember those <laughs> I've only read most of the books once, so yeah. I've read all of them at least twice. Some of them I've read. So so it's yes, kind of <laughs> I had to. I don't know. How many times have y'all read the series? Twice. Twice. Just, but just if I count three times. Okay. Yeah. If I count, yeah, I've read this. read this one a couple times, but I've read the whole series just once. This okay. is the only one I've reread. Really I'm the same. And now if that I've had like. A really great experience rereading this one. Now it's making me want to reread the, <laughs> the rest of the series. The whole series. Yeah. Yeah, I've read the Viscount the most. I read the Viscount five times now. And then the other ones mm -hmm. just like random. Did four, you three, read two. them before the show? Like how yeah. how long have you been a Bridgerton reader? Well, I've been a Julia Quinn reader <laughs> for like I don't know, ten years or something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been a while and the year before the show came out, I literally went and read through her entire like backlist. Mm -hmm. That oh, was really cool. fresh. Yeah. Yeah, I was reading historical romance, but the Bridgerton series I read right before the show. Yes. If they included Marina dying the way she does, I would hope they would address postpartum depression. Because they didn't address it at all in the in the book. No. Maybe they would like address the situation more so in the show if that happened. Um, we talked about this and we think it's a person who works for a printing press. Yeah. But she could have suitors because she is coming out and like True. obviously people are gonna want to court her. So I think that's gonna be really interesting to see her at the balls and all of that. Yeah. The twins are Phillips? I don't think so. No. What twins? They're Marina's. his brothers. Marina's. In the book. They're his yeah. brothers. No, yeah, they're brothers. his brothers that dies. And then, do we... Is it also in the show, too, his brother? Oh. In the show, it's his brother's baby that she's okay. pregnant with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. Well, yeah, because remember, she's in, she doesn't know he's dead until she gets a letter. Yeah, she's writing the letters and then he comes. Yeah. Oh, but I wonder if we'll see the funeral for Mr. Featherington. Maybe. They would have to go in the past, right? Because it's been like a year or so later. Oh, has oh. a year passed? Yeah, because Daphne, like, yeah. Yes. Oh, I guess Start her kids. Yeah, she has yeah, she's up, she's okay. up for the day. We saw the babies in the trailer. This is very impressive. Wow. Goodreads is telling me I read it in 2018. Mm. What an experience if you didn't have them all out, like you had to wait for each one. I know. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, Marina was not, like, Colin didn't even know Marina. Nobody no. knew Marina. Well, wasn't she like related to the Bridgertons? Like a cousin? Oh, yeah. yeah. Marina was. The yeah. yeah. And the like, only reason Penelope that's... and Philip, not Penelope, Eloise, Eloise and Philip were writing him. because Marina died. Yes. yes. And she like, wrote her condolences. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm wondering how they'll work that out now. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Oh, is that what they thought? Yeah. No, she doesn't. That did not work. She's still pregnant. Yeah, she book. tried to get rid of it. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. 
Um, yes. Yeah, I think we've talked about that before. The Wallflower series would be great. Someone oh, mentioned the Hathaway cool. series. That would be great. Too. The Hathaway series would be really cool. Mm -hmm. I think the Wallflower series would be a really good, easy series to make. Yes. Seasons, pretty similar. Yeah, short. It'd be shorter. Yeah. As long as they give again the magic. If they don't, then I mean, oh. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> I agree. I forget that's even part of the series. I know. I know. I, know. I, <laughs> I would die if that happened. Like literally, just pass out from excitement. But they're not doing. I haven't heard any rights get bought to any historicals. Since no, I mean we've talked about it before that like it's been off and on where Beverly Jenkins rights have been bought and then nothing really comes from them. Right. Um, but Lisa Davis takes never her time. time. Yeah, I've never heard anything. But at least like when the rights are bought, that happens pretty quickly, and then it'll take like two years for something to happen. But the Bridgerton series, I feel like, was fast though. Like yeah, because. We didn't hear about anything, and then all of a sudden, it, yeah, it all of a sudden, show. there was a Netflix series. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's enjoyable either way. Read them all, because then yeah. you get read them all and then reread them. Yeah, like the whole Marina Phillips storyline. Nobody knows unless you've read book five. Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't know. There are some misses in this series for me. Yeah, and I don't think we can have the Ravenel series without having a Wallflower series. Because mm -hmm. like, sometimes I don't. Sometimes yeah. I don't want those series because I feel like they could like who's going to really live up to like the <laughs> yeah, to fashion. And for me, West, I don't think anyone could live up to West for me. So I'll probably just. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't remember if I heard this. I don't remember. Mm -mm. Right, but for with Genevieve's comment, we haven't even heard of any rights being bought, though. Yeah. Right. I think, like, people would be jumping on them with the way Bridgerton went, but nobody is. Yes, romances are required all the time. Yeah. I feel like more so like contemporary romances, yes, yes. YA romances, but definitely not historicals. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you're telling me that like all these YA romances do better than like a historical romance could do? Like, because I've heard people saying like that, like Bridgerton, like it can get oversaturated, but I'm like, there's like a million and one freaking like YA romance yes. movies. So why can't we have multiple historicals? Maybe they're yeah, getting get her, like, like, confused you know, with historical oh. dramas. Like maybe no, I think like, that's oh, what it is. We already yes. have those historical dramas, so we don't need more. But it's Lots it's different. It is different. When someone yeah. says they read historical romance, and it's just like Jane Austen. I'm like Outlander, <laughs> and yeah, no. <laughs> absolutely not. No. <laughs> that happened so much. I remember seeing people like, "Oh, you love Bridgerton? Go watch Pride and Prejudice. Go watch Emma." Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, "No." Same. But at the same time, we don't have anything else to watch besides yeah. Bridgerton. No. That's true. But I like awesome. those movies, but they're nothing compared to like actual no. romance movies. Right. Yes. It is I underrated. Agree. I huh. agree. Well, I didn't even know it was part of the, the series. So yeah, it's, it's uh, yeah. The sister of um... it's her only second chance romance, I think. And oh, she really? like, gave me exactly what I wanted. Yeah, perfect. It's like there's literally nothing yes. wrong with it. It's just perfection. Yes. Hmm. I didn't know they were making persuasion. Yeah, they are making a new persuasion. But like, why do we have to keep on remaking Jane Austen's movies and not? Why? <laughs> There's so much new content. Isn't like, there an Amazon Prime series that's like historic? Uh, what is it called? Oh, the Gilded Age one. Yeah, that's HBO. HBO. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah the girl that plays in Fifty Shades of Grey is in the new Persuasion. I don't know her name. Oh, I can't think of it. The main character. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see her. What's her name? I'm forgetting her name. Um. It. 
I can see your face. <laughs> well, I can see your face. I don't remember. But this is also true. Like, Outlander came out in the 90s as well. I haven't finished Outlander, the um, show, because after the end of season one. Oh, well. yeah. I stopped yeah, I when they got to the Americas. I cannot stand I'm the season now. I'm interested anymore. It's so boring. <laughs> oh, Dakota Johnson. There we go. Yeah. yeah. So I'd funny. love to see her at some point. But is, is this a heroine for book three? I don't remember. Yes. Mm -hmm. How would yes, they show her though? She's low class. She is like a maid. She sneaks yeah. into the like, Bridgerton ball. Oh, like that her like family and her like doing her thing and you know being a maid. Unless they showed the ball at the end. Yeah. That's what yeah. I mean. mm, they could. Also, the fact, though, that, like, Joanna Lindsay hasn't been, like, picked up for adaptation. I'm like, there are iconic historical romances that just, like, ruled publishing in the 80s and 90s, and no one cares to adapt them. Like, I could see Tessa Dare. She would be perfect for, like, oh, now. Yes. Like, yeah. <laughs> if she would publish a new book. Oh, my I God. Know. What the heck? And she she gives no updates or anything. I'm like, well, she's on social media all the time, and so on Twitter tweet, all the time. I'm I'm like, is this gonna be it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she had like a release date, and then she didn't. Yeah, it's so kept like, getting pushed back, she's getting pushed back, and she never says anything about why. Well, I mean, she doesn't have to, but I'd I'd like to know, like, yeah, I know, but like, is she writing anything else too, or is she still working on that book? I, I have no clue. Whenever it comes I mean, out. it has to be she hasn't finished writing it. Otherwise, that's what I'm thinking. We'd yeah, have a release was. date. It's been two like, years. Yeah. Yeah. I, I <gasps> hope it has a step back like the rest of the book. It's not going to. I don't think I'll it be will. Mad. I don't think it will. Or maybe like a back cover one like Sarah McLean. At least. Oh, yeah. True. Someone mentioned Derek Craven as a movie or a production. And I feel like that is our best option because I feel like that still gets a lot of hype and he has like his own day and everything. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a good one. Yeah. <laughs> but that would be a movie, not a series. There's no way you could deny though the success of Bridgerton and say that couldn't happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, romance is the best selling genre and it still gets consistently downplayed. So it is a possible. True. True. And historical romance always flies under the radar. Oh, for sure. Like, it's so popular, but never gets a single Goodreads award or any recognition. Mm -hmm. yep. Did you see Barnes & Noble? I saw it on Twitter. Put out, like, their best romance, like, March Madness. Not a single historical no romance on there. No historical romances. Nope. Well, it's they the same. I went to Barnes & Noble but... the other day, and they had a book talk section, and I was looking at the books, and I was like, what freaking book talk are you on? Like... <laughs> Yeah, I did not know though. Sylvia Day has a deal with Showtime. Is it her crossover oh, series? Interesting. I don't know, but she she was on Passion Flicks. <laughs> okay, Passion Flicks oh, yeah. for anything. I can't with that. I can't. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. That's I'd love to see her, yeah. This would be amazing. Oh, yeah. I think we talked about that, too. They haven't said why for anything about it. I think it's it's more Tessa than um, publishing. If, if they're, yeah. you know. Yeah, I... They've never said anything about why though mm. I feel like Joanna Lindsay would be strong enough yeah there's so many like big names in historical romance that I feel like would be good mm -hmm. this is so sad I have heard that a lot of people outside of the States do struggle to find historical romances. Mm -hmm. I've heard that as well. Yeah. I wonder if the people in, in Europe, though, are, like, annoyed by the inaccuracies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the fact that there's, like, 10 million Duke stories, and they're like, you know, there's only, like, a handful of actual Dukes in real life. Right. 
<laughs> or they're just in general, like, like, why are they so obsessed with, like, new villainy? <laughs> right. Maybe that's it, is that they just don't care as much about it as... We do, do they obsess over it. Westerns? Like, we obsess over Regency? Right. <laughs> I cannot. Like, Westerns, I, I've i tried a couple, and they're just... I don't think I've They're so it. good. I'm so I surprised how much I love them, but there's some really special ones. This is going to be crazy. A bloodbath. Oh, my. It already oh, was. Great. It already was a bloodbath when they announced, like, like oh, didn't they like attack someone that they thought, like, they saw oh, some, an yeah. actor, like, followed someone and they all just attacked her, like, attacked this author saying, like, you're not good enough to play this person. And I'm just like, what? They just assumed that this yeah. actor was going to be Feyre and they just, like, attacked they her. Went insane. They went insane. They went insane saying no. And then the actor had to, like, didn't they, like, have to deactivate their social media? It was bad. It was really, really bad. I'm, like, the only person on the planet who has not read this series. I haven't read it. Okay, Sarah. Me and you. (laughs) I want to read it, but. I don't like fantasy, so I don't know why I would suffer through those large books. Uh, Courtney Milan. Ooh, that would be a good one. I feel like they do a lot of publishing Brazil, though. They do. Yes. I, yeah. I think it's because they're so vocal about it. They're like, we yeah. want this. We need this. True. True. And like every year, there's a new Julia Quinn edition in Brazil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's not niche with the show. Bridgerton was watched by right. everybody, so they yeah. liked it. I, I yeah, I think it expanded the genre. Yeah, like I've seen people watch Bridgerton <laughs> that never in my life I would have thought they would watch Bridgerton, and they liked it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've heard that. Even what happened with Jennifer Armitage's book? Oh, like. Wow, Ooh. like fans are absolutely insane for some of these series. And I think because these fandoms have gotten so large because of book yeah. talk, it is definitely SGM and JLA, they are just merciless. Yes. Yeah. And I think with historical romances too, like you're going to have to get somebody who, like Shonda, like has power. She's got the power to do it, right? So I feel like you're going to have to have somebody else or if she does more different adaptations or something uh, to make it happen. That's true. Yeah, someone said that Bridgerton is a more tame historical. And I think we even said that how it's not as steamy as other historicals. So that's probably why it does so well. But I mean, they made it. They made it. Mm -hmm. They changed it. There's a lot of historicals that are kind of in the same like vein as Bridgerton, I feel like. Oh, for, yeah, sure. for sure. Like the Mallory season uh, series by Johanna Lindsay. That would be a very similar Bridgerton vibe. They also made it into what it is. I agree. Like the costuming, the music. Yes. Yeah, because there is a part of me that likes the series a little more than the books because it just seems so much more like alive. It's mm-hmm. elevated in a lot of ways. Yeah, more modern. For sure. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And people that are like used to like Jane Austen adaptations, they were like complaining about the music and yeah. the inaccuracies. And I'm like, yes. yes. <laughs> I heard that. I too. cannot stand when people like harp on a book about historical accuracy. I'm like, goodness yeah. gracious. I did not know that the Outlander showrunner is doing Avatar. Mm. And they've been talking about, like, Throne of Glass as well being made into something. Okay, but they will give Vampire Academy three tries to make it. <laughs> yeah. you know, yes. And they have nothing else they can go find and do? Oh, my oh, God. Oh, I know. I know. I do not understand. The I did hear that the House of Night series. I don't know if you guys ever read that series when I, I, I read it when I was in high yeah. school. I heard that was getting an adoption, and I was like, I'm fully on board with that. I am so on board with that. I do agree about the family aspect. That's true. Yeah. 
Yes. My favorite part of the series. Like, I think I like the dynamic even more than the actual romance, which is so rare. I think so, too. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it I think that's why to, like find source material though? Mm. I don't know. You would think. <laughs> right. <laughs> Were you gonna say something, Sarah? Oh, um, I was just saying I think that's why it's like more emotional with the story with Edmund and Anthony. Is because the whole like the you know, the family and everything. Mm-hmm. So every time you see like, you know, little bits with the bee or something in the show, you're like <laughs> Yeah. Do they mention his horse races? I don't know. He did mention how he has, um, like, did it bid? Like, he bid on horse races a lot? Yeah, they do mention that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, at the beginning of the book, when they're explaining how much of a race he has done. Yes. (laughs) Mm -hmm. True. True, true. Okay, um, we're at an hour and a half though, so that's really all we wanted to chat about. I'm so excited! Oh my gosh, <laughs> talking about it. Yeah, I need to start my rewatch. Soon. I've oh, started I started my rewatch. rewatch. I'm on like episode yeah. three. I just rewatched you guys, watched my sister. If if there's like one scene that you have to have in it, like what scene is it? Like that you have to for sure. Palma. Yeah. 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 But what about like the beast? I think it's the bee sting and the marriage of convenience. <laughs> yeah. I the three moms the like stumbling sting. upon them. Yes. The like, three, the, threatening yeah. Mrs. Featherington. Like, oh my God, I love her. <laughs> He's like, I know those two won't say anything. Yes. You know, <laughs> you know, and then she does. Like, yeah. Um, any other scenes? I know people really want the opposite. Uh, the thunder. Yes. The thunder. Yeah. I actually like it's a really really tiny scene in the, in the beginning of the book where he uh, like pronounces he's going to get married and Benedict like falls back in his chair and calls yes. his son and all of and <laughs> <laughs> Seems like they kind of like, changed that, that in trailer because like this time it's like the mom announced it at a ball, mm-hmm. right? Isn't that what and happened? Everyone here? like looks at yeah. him. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know if we'll get any of the thunder, thunder scene storms. I don't know. Mm. Hopefully there's something hope, kept a secret from us. And I our- do hope we get like a decent amount of the brothers together. Yes. Yeah, they're always so funny together. They are. Is this a quote from the book? I think so. I okay. think so. Yeah. I don't know. Judith would not buy me a little too. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> no. I mean, they could change it. It's not like they didn't change the Duke and I. Right. No comments. <laughs> my favorite author. I know. It's my favorite, guys. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, guys, for joining. That was so much fun. Are you guys starting at midnight or are you waiting? I don't. I think I'm gonna I'm, wait. I'm supposed yeah, to go to I, I have to wait. Park that day. I think I'm gonna I wait a little bit. Well, it just depends or maybe on how watch it during work. One. I'll probably sneak it during work. <laughs> I'll I'll be off work, so I think that like that day I'll watch all of it. Oh, Are you gonna watch yeah. it all in one go? Yeah, that's what I did last time. We had Christmas, me and my mom and my aunt, and we watched Bridgerton for the whole day. Oh, fun. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to watch it, like, Saturday and Sunday and just have, like, a week- a weekend of it. Yeah. 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 What about you, Jess? Um, I'm watching it all that day because I took the day nice. work. So. I'm oh, not yeah. I might get up at, like, 6 and start just because I will be so excited. But yeah, not at midnight. I know there's going to be tons of people up at midnight watching the first episode. So I'll have to stay mm-hmm. off social media. <laughs> Until I watch it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine? Because it's what, eight episodes? So if you start at midnight, you'd finish at eight, nine in the morning. So wow. I love how many people took the day off work. That's amazing. I love that for y'all, honestly. Truly. Well, we were lucky that it was a Christmas last time because, like, yes. you know, Christmas mm-hmm. work, yeah. yeah. And now well, some people work Christmas. Yeah, I said most people, yeah, I didn't have to, but yeah. Okay. 
All right. Uh, well, I hope you guys enjoy uh, Bridgerton. Hopefully it's everything we hope it is and more. So we shall see. Uh, but thank you everyone for joining. Thank you everyone in the comments for coming and chatting. That was fun. And I hope you guys enjoy the show. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Bye.